Dead Rising Case Zero walkthrough for Armageddon-Gaming.com. So we have the four bike parts that we can get for now, for a while. And what we're going to do is we're going to save. It's going to be about midday, around 12 o'clock-ish. So now we have extra time. So we are going to use it to do some unique weapons. So what you're going to do first is you're going to come out here and you're going to come all the way to this corner and you're going to find the paddle. You're going to pick it up. We are going to take it to the hardware store which is down at the end of this road right close to where the quarantine zone is. So what you can do is you can do all these weapons in a playthrough but the best way to do it is to just keep reloading that save you just made because you'll have the time to do it over again or even better way to do it is just to do it on a completely different uh, playthrough at all but I just decided to try to hit it all in one playthrough just sake of the video so we're going to come over into this um, maintenance room and you're going to place it on the table now you're going to come into hardware store you're going to grab a chainsaw and then we're going to cut this guy in half. Spin around in circles like a ballerina. And we're going to take it over to the maintenance room. And we are going to combine the two. And get our second, I think, unique weapon. And it's the paddle saw. I think it's called. Now this weapon is amazingly awesome. As you can see. It's very effective at clearing large hordes of people, which is why I kind of I left some footage in here of me doing that. This is one of the best ways to get the thousand zombies killed achievement. You can see it, it gives you some serious uh, experience points by killing these guys, and it's awesome. Completely implausible, but whatever. So we're done with that for now. Now we're going to grab these box of nails, place it on the table, grab this propane tank, which is already here, place it on this table and combine it. And we're going to make the IED. I don't skip this for some strange reason. Okay, here we go. We do. You throw it. Then you shoot it. It goes bang. It kills zombies and you get points also cool. So we're going to go get another weapon. I hit four weapons in this video I believe. And all of the parts are right here as well so grab this whiskey right here and there's going to be a newspaper right at the end of this alleyway or just right here. And those are the parts for a whole other uh, weapon. Again put it on the table, combine the two and you're gonna make the Molotov cocktail which isn't so effective since you can only carry around one but it does what you would expect a Molotov cocktail to do so again we're gonna come down the same alleyway again and we're gonna hit yet another weapon and I believe this is the only place you can find this one uh, item for this weapon, which is this battery, big old battery you have sitting on top of this uh, dumpster. It's the only time I've ever seen one, but it's in a good place because it's, as you can see, it's close to all the other parts we've been finding. So we're going to bring it back once again to the maintenance room. Place it there, and you're going to go grab a rake from the hardware store after I take a swig of my liquor put those two together and that's going to make the electric rake I think it's called again it seems strangely implausible but it's awesome that's the way we like it we can electrocute zombies with it and this one actually gives us uh, 200 uh, experience points per kill the only thing about it is it's kind of hard to hit two guys at once. But it's still sweet. 
So we'll hit more weapons in the next video, so come back again.